Welcome back to Let's Play White Day and Labyrinth Dame School on the PS4. Of course I wouldn't freaking t It's like, that's such a long title, isn't it? White Day, a labyrinth named school. It's long in terms of, like, if you put that in the YouTube uh, title, you're not going to have room for anything else. I mean, there's a lot of YouTubers that just pretty much just put the title as just the name of the game part something. Not even like so much as just like saying anything else than that. And the video descriptions are usually copy and paste merchandise stuff. It's like, am I the only one who bothers to actually write the title properly these days or what? Anyways, I just, it doesn't really look all that different. I messed with the saturation a little bit, increased a bit, because it was looking kind of dark on the capture card. So, yeah, it still looks kind of dark, though. I haven't edited the previous part yet, because I've just been waiting three minutes for the commentary to save. So he's been staring at her this whole time, and she doesn't seem at all bothered by it for some reason. So, um, yeah. Huh? You didn't leave yet? I only just noticed he's still there. He's been standing here for three minutes. What, are you scared? You chicken? <laughs> Sheep, 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 Oh my god, can you imagine? Well, actually, with like people making games based around just memes, I wouldn't be completely surprised if there's a horror game out there. Well, actually, no. I would have probably have seen someone play it randomly, I'd imagine, if there was. But imagine a horror game with Tommy Wiseau. I can picture it. Don't worry about me. Go on your way. But I must annoy you first. I said go. What is your problem? Stop bothering me and get lost. Alright, fine. You see, the thing in this game, Rod, is that the more you talk to them, the more you annoy them, essentially kind of a thing and it's a key thing in fact it only I think it only really applies to So Young Han Han's endings but essentially if you talk to her too much it's like it's all right to bother her and Ji Hyun you know but if you bother So Young Han and you're going for one of her endings you're gonna kind of affect the ending outcome if you you know speak to her a lot because you annoy them the more you speak. So, actually, what I want to do here is... Yeah, well, actually, no. What I should do is really this. It's like... Why? Why? What purpose? Actually, no. It doesn't make a difference, actually, because, yeah. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? Exactly. What? Exactly. What? It's just like, I'm not saying anything till we get to the point. Let's make some damn progress around here. Oh wait, first I gotta... It's L1. Man, he is... Look at that. His walking speed, running speed. I mean, that's not really that much of an improvement, really, is it? It's... Square the crouch. Crouching, much like in, you know, any games, tends to be like, makes it harder to detect. Although, the AI in this game varies from difficulty to difficulty. You're just like, what AI? Well, we'll see. Asshole, you spoiled my appearance! So, I mean, the way I was preparing for it, kinda made it obvious that something was gonna go down now. Oh, 
house. If you sneak in at night, the janitor gets terribly angry. If he catches you, the punishment is harsh. Yeah, the punishment is death. He looks crazy. Punishment, is that what you call punishment? What do you mean? Um, anyway, he's nice in the daytime. You're the transfer student. I'm in your homeroom, remember? No, I don't think I do so. Uh, yeah, you were with So Young earlier today, right? You know So Young? Well, I guess everybody knows her, actually. I'm Jihon Sol. You're Human Lee, right? Anyway, what are you doing here at this hour? I have something to give to So Young well now. I'm just running some errands. Mmm. I think you're incredibly brave. All alone this late. Tell me something. I always see you alone. Don't you have friends? Don't worry about it. I love Bilo. I've got you, even though we've only just met. Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's right. But you'll make more soon. Okay, I'm going to go now. Be careful. So in this game, right, when it comes to the endings, you just like... For So Young Han, it's a bit more complicated because you gotta be nice to her, you gotta do all things well, but there's more to it than that. While for characters like So uh, uh, Kim, whatever, I keep forgetting her name, and Ji Hyun, it's just like, just generally just be nice to them, and that's all you really need to do. It's like, you can talk to them all you want, annoy them in that way, won't affect the outcome, as long as you pick the right choices. Although in so well, King Kim's uh, case, one of her endings does require doing something else, which she hints at later on, that you, it's something you'd have to do, but if you don't do that, you just... Well, we'll get to that much later down, essentially. Here's the janitor. janitor will chase you after you if he finds you while he's on patrol. Be careful when you turn on the light or run, because the chance of getting caught by the janitor will increase. In difficulty level below normal mode, you can check the status of the janitor with the eye-shaped icon. And again, it's just like... It says under below normal mode, but it's normal mode and below with all the patches that you get that eye icon but on hard mode which we're playing on and hell mode you don't get that icon so you can't tell when he's nearby honestly the eye icon makes the game l less suspenseful because you know if he's in the area not knowing if he's close by is what brings the tension so it's just like oh could he be there could he be there so pretty much a lot of this game comes down to puzzles and avoiding the janitor, really. Light on light, you're using the little light area, a little helpful in darkness. You can turn on or off the lighter with R1. Using the lighter lets you brighten the area without getting caught by a janitor, but the area is very limited, the lighter will turn off if you run, so be careful. That's a damn lie, by the way, about it's not getting caught by a janitor. I've used the lighter randomly. You know, sometimes on hard or mid, especially hell mode, just like completely away from the janitor, the janitor will be patrolling outside, and I just use the lighter to kind of look around and examine things, and he would freaking spot me, man. The AI gets incredibly tough on high difficulties. It's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna turn the light off just in case. I guess it depends where you use the lighter, really. So we gotta wait there. Wait. Um. I didn't do my usual reading thing, did I? 
Ground weights, a small metal weight used to balance a scale. You get items like this that will come into play later on. Meanwhile, you got stuff like this is just something you need for a certain encounter, essentially. This one's also used for a puzzle of sorts later on that leads to something else to do with the, uh... Essentially, a lot of this is to do with the ghost collection. Well, all, all three of these are to do with the ghost collection. So, let's have a good old nose around. I think only... Actually, I think we can get the key that unlocks this on hard mode. But it might be limited to hell mode. But essentially, most of these actually might even be just the extra character. I can't fully remember. But most of these don't really have anything in them to begin with, really. Can you hear that? That's the sound of the janitor. You know he's by if you can hear his keys shuffling. And of course it plays the ominous music when he's very close by. That's your cue on how to figure out where he is when you can't, like, see, essentially. And of course it's like... On normal mode you get the eye thing that will appear at the top of the screen, which makes it a lot easier to know if he's in range or not. Five, ghost tree. One more of the ghost stories. Mihan quickened her steps towards the classroom. Whatever sunlight there was had now completely disappeared and the school was covered in darkness. Mihan was annoyed with her friends. They had stopped on their way home to chat with her. Even though she was still busy cleaning, they didn't even offer to help her and just left her on her own when they ran off. Things to talk about. Ran out of things to talk about. This made me un uneasy as Why High School was full of scary rumors. To make matters worse, she saw no students around today. She found the echoing of her footsteps quite nerve-wracking. Anxiety grew even more when she saw the potted tree in the corner of the hallway. The plant used to belong to her homeroom teacher last year. It reminded her of him and what had happened that year. Her homeroom teacher, Mr. B, taught Chinese. He was quiet and had a thin build. He gave off a sad vibe. He wasn't friendly at all, not even trying to connect with his students or fellow teachers. He did, however, seem interested in maintaining his plants. He took care of... He took, he took, took extra care in the plant of his homeroom, Junior Homeroom 2. He cared for his plant so much that he checked on it during every class break. Then one day, a student accidentally dumped chemical solvent on Mr. B's favorite tree. The tree turned black and shriveled up completely. Afraid of the repercussions, the student replaced the tree and decided to burn the old one. Even his friends were in on his plan. The girl, they moved the dead plant to the incinerator and lit it on fire. The dead tree easily caught fire and was soon burning with billowing black smoke. When the flames grew more intense, a scream was heard. It was like the burning tree was screaming out in pain. That's when Mr. B came running. Watching his favorite tree burning made him go crazy. Before anyone could reason with him, he dashed into the open flames to be with his favorite tree in the fire. Both Mr. B and a tree were engulfed in flames. In a matter of seconds, no one spoke. Everyone was in shock from what they had just observed. Judging from the matching statements from the students involved, the police decided that it was a case of suicide by delusion. Mihan was there that day at the incinerator. That's why every time she saw plants Mr. B used to care for, it made her shiver. She normally made an effort to not pass through where the plants were. She would have walked around it today, too, if she wasn't in such a hurry. Mihan tried uh, so hard to calm herself down when she saw a light on a, on in a nearby homeroom. She heard someone moving in there too, scared of being left alone in the dark building. She was happy to see there was someone else in school. She quickly opened the classroom's door, but what she saw was the back of a man in front of a plant. Mihan froze in terror when she realized what she was seeing. This was her homeroom from last year, junior homeroom too. The man slowly turned around and faced Mihan. He was holding the dog's corpse with its belly ripped open and his other hand was covered in blood. Behind him, Mihan could see that the blood and organs were covering the leaves and stems. He slowly approached Mihan and said, Oh good, I was running out of food for my tree. He fed a dog to a tree? Man, I haven't read these in ages. What the hell? <laughs> Well, that kind of connects. 
if you've been paying attention, to another document we picked up ages ago. Where it's just like, hmm, wasn't there something about some idiots and trees? Like, burning trees or something like that. She's like, hmm. Some more soy milk. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Gotta close them. He's still in the area. It's like at this point, it kind of psychs you out. He appears, but he just, he buggers off pretty quickly. It's a little later on when he becomes persistent. Faculty maintenance requests live for faculty maintenance requests. I have so many of my faculty office head teacher requested but to facility maintenance depart and request there's a creaking noise coming from the third floor hallway in front of the music room in the main building too. Respect the wooden boards are worn out. There's a risk of it coming completely loose, endangering the students. It is urgent that the board is repaired as quickly as possible. That is something that will come into play later on. Are we still in the area? Oh shit. <laughs> he actually opened the door. It's a good thing he came in here then, isn't it? Otherwise he would have spotted me. Well, I'm paying attention to my surroundings. This right here will come into play as well. These things are pretty damn common, these lock combination things. With some of them being linked to puzzles, while this one is, you know, a lot more straightforward, but a pain in the ass nonetheless. But there's ones that are, like, connected to the ghost collection, and they're not easy to get. Because they're really confusing, and they also involve backtracking. Pretty sure he should be gone. He's gone in that door, which we can't access just yet. Well, we don't need to crawl around here. Well, actually, I think we can access it. I forget. Because we've got the token, so I think we could actually. Actually, where am I going anyway? Isn't this... Oh yeah, of course. We are supposed to go that way, actually. I just forgot it's been months. Oh god, here he comes. Always do that at an angle. You gotta, like, be careful with these doors. It's like it slows him down. You gotta be through the door and then X. Select that door and get the fuck out. And then hide in the toilet stall till he eventually buggers off. That is assuming I've not already thrown him off completely. Because he's not very fast, he's limping after all, but... If he gets you, he'll beat the shit out of you. Can't hear him though. Because I need to go that way. But this is what the game tends to boil down to a lot, really, is essentially just trying to avoid the janitor, but he's always. Oh, there he is. I think he's gone into the classroom. But the janitor almost always seems to be in a place where you need to go. But rarely in this case, usually I would have done that by now, got to the next area. But unfortunately, I'd forgot that I had to go through that bloody door with the token. So, yeah. Actually, I think he's gone into the other hallway instead. So we can get past. You also gotta keep in mind 
that he can hear you when you put on lights and doors. Of course, the AI varies with difficulty. On high difficulties, he will have some freakish freaking senses. He will be able to tell if you've switched on a light in a room that's far away from where he is. It's like on hell mode, there's this one section of the game that's really difficult because of how ridiculously good hearing they've got. Hell, uh, the hard mode isn't all that bad though once you've played through the game a number of times. It becomes normal mode at that point, really. closed until we get the uh, next token, essentially. Don't think there's anything over here, though. There's something at the top of these stairs, though. I'm just kind of going off memory here. Why is that one open? I guess it's probably because he walked from here. Love letter. A love confession letter written by a female student. You don't get to read it, though. It's to do with the ghost collection. A lot of these items, like I said, that you just pick up that miscellaneous tend to be for the ghost collection. Another uh, ghost story. A woman locked in the closet. Dai Hoon was serving the tension again. He was made to write an essay to apologize for beating someone up that afternoon. A real problem Dai Hoon had was that he was the only one being punished. He suspected that the boy he fought was from a wealthy family. Dai Hoon knew the facility coordinator was corrupt enough to take bribes. Unlucky day he fought. His arm felt like it was going to fall from all the writing he did. To top it off, he was also hurting from the fight. The elf student couldn't beat him fair and square, so he had grabbed the broom and swung it at Tai Hoon. It was at the moment that Tai Hoon had just taken away uh, had just taken away the broom that the facility coordinator showed up. Because of that, Tai Hoon ended up getting beaten even more. Thinking about everything that happened made him angry again. He tried to calm himself down and was determined to beat up the boy as soon as he came to school tomorrow. Suddenly he heard a clattering sound in the closet behind him. It sounded like a mouse was trapped inside. Since the building was very old, it wasn't rare to find a mouse in school. He tried to ignore it and concentrate on writing his essay, but the cluttering sound continued. Already agitated, Tai Hoon violently threw open the closet doors. What he found was not a mouse. There were rumors that a ghost's head had been seen flying out of that closet. There was also rumors that male students had been found inside the closet, with their bodies crushed and mangled. <laughs> what kind of rumor is that? The teachers tried to contain it, but the story spread like wildfire, you know, when students feel mangled in a locker, you know. <laughs> yeah. According to Ramers, this school was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners during the occupation. Many people died here after being tortured with the dishonor of being labeled traitors. One of these tortured souls included a woman who was arrested on behalf of her husband who dodged during the war, she was tortured visually to reveal the whereabouts of her husband, but kept her silence. In the end, they locked her up in a specifically designed chest, where she could neither lie nor sit. She died slowly in agony, without being able to move. It was after the war ended that her corpse was recovered. It said that they had difficulty putting her body in a coffin, because her neck and knees were bent stiffly at odd angles. Students believed that her ghost still wanders around in the walls of the school, it's said that if you open the closet at night, she will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. Well, that's a lovely story, isn't it? Tranquilizer. Eases your mind when you're nervous. Using it will calm you down. Essentially what this does is, when you're sprinting, you have stamina, essentially. And if you're running for a long time, which 
you will inevitably when running from the giant at certain some points in the game you're gonna probably need one of these to you know make it so that you can run continue running without like pretty much getting completely destroyed by your stamina Wait, 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 forgetting something important here, as usual. We must close stuff. Oh yeah, I'm forgetting. Uh, where is it? There's another one of these. The butterfly has wings in the shape of human faces. Bloody workbook. A math workbook with bloody marks. So what were your marks on that math test? Oh, they were bloody terrible. Ha 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 Anyways, let's actually just leave it like that. So that, you know. I'm gonna record another part immediately after, but you get the idea. I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes because, you know, it's just manageable with Camtasia that way. When the file size is too big, Camtasia's like, oh no. So anyway, I'll see you next time, Bears. See you next time.